Hi, my name is Paula Leitze, and I am the Academic Advisement SEL Supervisor at South Hill Public Schools. I chose this book today called The Mindful Dragon by Stephen Herman because I believe mindfulness can help change students, teachers, and the world. So let's start with the mindful dragon. Hello, my name is Drew, and I'm so pleased to meet you. Diggity do my dragon, but don't worry, he won't eat you. He won't breathe fire or roar at you, even though he could. Diggity do a gentle pet, for I'm tra I've trained him to be good. A dragon is not hard to train, for dragons are quite smart. And underneath their dragon scales, there beats a tender heart. So not only must you train them to roll over, sit and stay, but also to direct their thoughts to live a mindful way. One time I saw, saw poor Diggory do looking very sad. When I asked him what was wrong, he said, I think my friends are mad. So do you remember yesterday when we went for a swim? What if they were jealous that I didn't swim with them? I told him not to worry about what happened yesterday. There's not a thing that you can do to change it anyway. And you can't help what others think about the things you do. You should not doubt your choices when you choose what's right for you. Then one day I saw that diggery do was feeling sad again. Dragon tears ran down his face and dripped right off his chin. Diggory Do, what's wrong with you? Why do you feel sorrow? He bowed his head and he said, I have a test tomorrow. My poor dragon was so scared, he had a tummy ache. I just shook my head and said, oh, for goodness sake, if you want tomorrow to turn out okay, you can't make it happen by worrying today. Then I sat my dragon down so we could talk a little while. I told him, wipe away your tears and replace them with a smile. Just leave the past behind you with its blunders and regrets. And don't fret about the future, for it's not happened yet. Love your past for memories and lessons that you've learned. 
And there's no harm in planning where your future is concerned. But neither past nor future are places you can live, lest you miss out on today and all it has to give. Diggory do cocked his head and wiped away his tears. He listened very closely to the things I had to say. I told him it's called mindfulness. When you can clearly see that where you are this moment is where you're meant to be. That's why we call today the present, for it is like a gift that we open with our senses to give our hearts a lift. Open up your eyes, do you see? Nature's all around you, trees and flowers, birds and bees, lakes and hills surround you. Listen for the music. When the wind blows through the pines, smell the fragrance of perfume from the honeysuckle vines. Taste the sweetness of the berry when it bursts upon your tongue. Dance barefoot through the dew when the day is fresh and young. Love the life you're blessed with as you embrace today. Your fears and your anxiety will surely melt away. Let go of things you cannot change and change the things you can. When you practice mindfulness, you have a lifetime plan. And when you've mastered mindfulness, don't keep it to yourself. Don't put it in a box which you store upon the shelf. Use mindfulness to guide your life and bring much peace to you. Then share it with friends you meet so they can have some too. The end. And remember, as you're being mindful, take a deep breath. Just pause. And if you make a mistake, you get to start all over again. Thank you.